hello and welcome in this video we are going to learn how we can display error messages in the profile update so far we didn't uh, cover how we can display error messages when user is not providing their uh, password it is not displaying the error in the form field it is only showing that on the console so i will log in here if i just press login it is going to give us an error the password does not use big creep algorithm the reason is here in our controller we remember that when we say if the user change their image okay merge the image and then request all this will include the password also it is not going to encrypt the pass the new password and then save it to the database what i'm going to do is i'm going to check if user has changed their password the, you should use the hash make to encrypt the password and then you can store that in the database so far it is not going to do that so if i go to php my admin and uh, see my password it is not hashed because last time we changed it so let us do that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a condition here it is going to say if not empty what i'm going to write it request inside this one i say if the request password is not empty then what you can do okay passport not password if that is not empty what you can do is we can just say the password is going to be uh, hashed we take the request from the user and we hash it and we merge it to our request uh, variable here in the request which is coming here after that we update that what it is going to do is it is going to check for the password if it is not empty or it is new by default this is empty if user is not changing anything but if they change it what we can do is we can just encrypt it and then we save it to the database this time it should work but for this one for the user we have it is not going to work because this user has already changed their password and that is like they have changed their password and it is already saved in the database what we can do is we can change it from here and make and put another hash but i will register a new user it is easier so what i will write is let's say as name is john and john me.com let's say dot com oops dot me dot au to say that it is not going to re uh, re repeat it email address so for the password i will use a simple password I just wanted to show you that if you are doing this stuff you should remember that you should uh, encrypt it while you are going to save it in the database so this time yeah we have it if you are going to profile I have all my information except yeah everything is here except the thing is we do not see any error if we update the information if I go to network tab let's say we are not going to write our email you know the email is required so if I come here here we say the email is required but if i click on the update it's going to send the http request and it fell here at uh, 422 if i check out the message this is the password yeah the email address is required but it should display it here so let's see how we can display that here so far we know how we can display it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the npm run watch here to come watch for the files that we can we are going to change in our javascript i will go to asset js again we will open the profile dot view i will hide the sidebar i will scroll down yeah it will take a little while to change the color for the view extension files you know this is the password so what we are going to do is we are going to write the validation here we have written something like has error form field we have this one if you don't have feel free to write this one and this is for the password how about the email here is the email for the name also we have has email so why it is not working the reason is this in the input field also you should write that if you have an error display it here that's why it is not working to prove it if i just check out the user here you know uh, when we are changing the user information here is one of them for the bio okay we don't have anything yeah here is the class we have here if you have a, have any error display it here 
if you add this one it will work just fine let's see for the email we have here the class we are going to bind i'll copy this one from here this is conditionally based on our field on our input if the input has this class it is going to be shown that's why it is not working for us so i'll copy this portion of the code from here coming to profile let me just find out yeah here is the email and i will paste it for the email if i save it this time it compiled down we we'll refresh the page to kind of take all new javascript files sometimes it take a little while to refresh even i don't know maybe my computer got slow so let's see if we can display the error i will not write anything so i will come down and press update it's going to send the http request pending yeah it fail yeah it is displaying here in the same way you can do for the name of course in our controller we said the name is also required the password should be required six character at least and mean something like that so i will do that behind the scene i mean if i go to profile for the name input for the experience all of them i will do that behind the scene so yes i have done it for the password for the experience for the name as well uh, now if i don't write any name of course name is required if i click on the update it is going to give us an error and display it here so it is fine for now the other issue we have uh, uh, said in the previous video was the password we say if i come to here you know this is the password field if i select this one going to view now i will check the profile inside the profile we have has error oops inside the forum if i come here you know this is the password field and the value is undefined uh, in our controller when we check it here if it is empty or not what this is going to do if you write something inside this one if you write something let's say i said d d it changes here okay fine but if i clean it now you can see this is not undefined anymore it means it has a value so what we are going to do if i click update let's say we are writing the name to as joe or something and we update the password let's see if it is going to update that in the database or not so i will come here here is the let i start database i just want to check we change the value for example someone wants to change their password and they write something and they suddenly say they oh no i don't want to change so they clean it up and then they just update the information what it is going to do it is going to uh, change their password or not so i will go to user table just wanna take a look yeah there is uh, the admin one you know the admin one we change the password it is not in the crypt for the john we have registered this is a user the biography is null the image is null so what i'm going to do is i'm going to update their information now if i click on the update going to network tab it succeed yeah we have no error and if i come here refresh the table let's see if the john has changed their email okay if i come down yeah this was the john we have you know the password has has not changed anything here so if i refresh the page it should be fine yeah this is the password so yeah now it is working just fine but sometimes you face the issue of uh, not having the password if you do not write the password so you write something here and then you clean it what it is going to do it is going to change the value from here to empty now it is working just fine so if i click on the update going to the network tab we don't get any error we just update the information but if i write a short character one two three and click on the update yeah it fell and say password must be at least six character it didn't change anything we write i am let's say he is a designer something is not a very special bio please plus we will pick and uh, let's say yeah he is a man of course we will select this guy and we change another password and say one two three four five six which is six character and it should change the value here so if i click update it is set successfully update the information yeah it updated it and everything is just fine plus it should have uploaded the picture for us if i go to the public image 
we have the profiles yeah we have uploaded the image here so this is the guy okay yeah the last one the last thing is here that if this user is going to upload uh, change his profile more than 10 times every day we uh, we have all their, this, their profile here so what i want to do is i want to check if he is going to change his profile i am going to delete his old picture from here so that is what you are going to do in the next video